I'm Emily Pietro, and my modeling project for Premax class is sound transduction in the ear. The human ear is responsible for translating variations in air pressure and is divided into three important sections, the outer ear, the, inner, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear gathers the sound energy and focus, focuses it on the tympanic membrane or the eardrum. The middle ear collects the sound waves which cause the eardrum to vibrate, which then vibrates the three bones of the ear, the, ma the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. The stapes vibrates a small membrane at the base of the cochlea known as the oval window. And this transmits vibration energy to the fluids of the cochlea, the paralymph, and the endolymph. The paralymph is the fluid between the membranous and the bone of the ear and is found in the scala vestibuli and the scala tympani. The endolymph is inside the membranous of the ear and is found in the scala media. Inside of the cochlea, above the basilar membrane of the scala media, is the organ of cordy. The organ of cordy has three structures, sensory cells, or hair cells, supporting cells, and auditory nerve fiber terminals. Each ear contains 3,500 inner hair cells and 12,000 outer hair cells. Afferent fibers in the inner hair cells account for most of the afferent nerve fibers in the auditory, auditory nerve, or the vest cochlear nerve. This gives rise to the perception of sound. The effort input from the outer hair cells help to sharpen the frequency resolving power of the cochlea. Protruding from these hair cells are smaller hairs called stereocilia. The height of the stereocilia gradually increases and extends into the tectorial membrane that sits atop the organ of cordy. The vibrations of the basilar membrane in the cochlea bend the stereocilia. Depending on the direction of the bend, ion channels in those hair cells will either stretch open or they will close. When a hair bundle is pushed towards the tallest stereocilia, cation selective channels will open. This causes an influx of potassium ions and a rapid depolarization of that entire hair cell. Because of the depolarization, there is a resulting influx of calcium ions through voltage-gated calcium channels at the base of the hair cell. The influx of calcium triggers the release of neurotransmitters from the synaptic vesicles at the base of the cell. The opening of even a single calcium channel evokes the exocytosis, the exporting of materials out of the cell, of multiple synaptic vesicles. All of this in turn stimulates the afferent nerve fibers and sends the signal onto the brain.